Casually explain uploaded a video about Twitch streamers. Wait, really? Oh, here we go. 900 views. So Twitch is the world's largest live streaming platform and owned by Amazon. And while originally it was almost entirely for gaming, it's now expanded to all sorts of shows and IRL content with top streamers averaging tens of thousands of viewers and special events and tournaments getting into the hundreds of thousands. With so much content, there's pretty much something for everyone, whether you're a gamer, a musician, a hobbyist, or just a member of Twitch staff. Unlike TV, streaming appeals primarily to a teenage and young adult audience, and having done some streaming myself, I've realized it's basically a place where high school kids go to learn social skills from adults who act like high school kids. <laughs> With this in mind, if you're a streamer, it can be hard to keep everyone well behaved in the chat, so you have to set some rules for everyone to follow. Personally, I think it's important to listen to the interests of the Twitch chat, so just like in a democracy, there's really only one good way to make rules. Do whatever the fuck you want, till Jeff Bezos stops paying you. Now, a big problem streamers have to deal with is their audience developing what are called parasocial relationships, which is when someone from their chat knows so much about them that they think they're close friends, even though to the streamer, they're just True. some random viewer. And this is worsened because unlike traditional celebrities, Twitch chat can directly message and donate to the streamer in real time, getting a reaction and making them feel more connected. And while most people think, Bro, getting validation that way is kind of sad. For getting me just remember it's the same thing your grandparents do for you, so make sure you have some empathy. So I can tell you from the perspective of a streamer, by far both the best and worst part of streaming is the chat, because they make you feel like you're the hottest girl in the club. You know there's a chance that someone cool is going to come up and chat with you, but 95% of your interactions are, Here's five dollars. How old are you? How tall are you? Are you single? Yeah, yeah, still single. Oh, poggers, dude. <laughs> Relatedly, because... <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, that's so true, dude. Wait, I gotta. Yeah, yeah, still single. Oh, poggers, dude. <laughs> that's literally a perfect. That is the perfect way to describe chat, so dude. Hassle. Oh, poggers, dude, and then just walks away. <laughs> oh, that's so sick. This video was geared towards. I mean, literally this. This sneaky bastard, dude, made a perfect video for Twitch streamers to watch. Relatedly, because so many Twitch viewers are young males, a big topic of conversation in the gaming community is always female streamers. And frankly, nice. female streamers have it rough on Twitch. Not financially, of course, but in terms of being treated like a human being. This is because of the well-known fact that if you donate all your pocket money for that month to a female streamer, they are now legally obligated to be your girlfriend. I'm not saying it's fair or just, but I am <laughs> saying I will also do anything for $25. Nevertheless, regardless of whether someone is a pro gamer or you just have a crush on them, at the end of the day, streaming is all about entertainment, and you can watch and support whoever you want. But at least be honest with yourself about it. I've seen people be like, oh, yeah, she does like yoga at the beach, and I've donated because she obviously can't afford a proper outfit, and I've been trying to learn yoga myself, you know? Yeah, okay, buddy, and I'm a tier 3 sub to Hassan for his political views. And we're back. I'm sorry, what? Son of a bitch. <laughs> uh, no, I, I love casually explained. Fun little meme. I mean, I've obviously watched a lot of his videos on stream before. I reached out to him like way back in the day, like way back in the uh, day. I think it was like 2016 or something when I was at the Young Turks. And I was like, dude, you want to do like, you want to do content? To, like, you want to do some, you know, videos together? And he was like, "Fuck no." <laughs> uh, or wait, no, I think it was even more recently. Like, <laughs> I literally was like, "Bro, do you want to?" He's in here. I was like, "Bro, do you want to do like, uh, you know, something with like Focus. politics?" Oh my god, he's literally tier two, three sub. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, dude. Oh, that's hilarious. Oh, dude, he probably did this just for the fucking meme. No shot. No fucking oh, shot, God. dude. <laughs> Never typed in chat. Tier 3 sub. <laughs> the perfect chatter. The perfect relationship with a streamer awesome. and and chatter thanks for unpausing the video hassan
Now, one thing Twitch is certainly known for. Are you fucking kidding me? You wait. Oh. 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 Oh no. I got to end the broadcast after that, dude. Oh. Oh my fucking god, dude. Oh my <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this motherfucker doesn't even follow me back, dude. Frame obliterated. That's. Uh. That was. That was. I mean, I don't know what to say about that. Okay, that's. I can't believe how fucking predictable I am. It's bullshit. <sighs> or is it's drama? This is because 98% of all Twitch viewership oh. is concentrated in the top 50 streamers, so they all know and interact with each other. And there's no better place to stay up to date on the latest streamer shenanigans than Reddit's live stream fail. Now, despite its name, LSF right. isn't just a place to post funny livestream blunders. It is, in fact, a constantly updated gossip magazine for teenage lore masters to turn the lives of famous streamers into choose your own adventure K dramas. Imagine someone in the chat is like, Uh, hey, hey streamer, you just made a big mistake. And you're like, what, what did I do? But nice try, liar. You should have said you were innocent before you were accused of being guilty. Now your Twitter notifications look like this, and the top LSF post is six months of scandalous DMs the OP found in their Photoshop folder. Every other streamer is giving their lengthy criticism of your entire character 15 seconds after asking chat what they thought you did. Then only once the entire subreddit is filled with clips destroying your life, Asmin- Holy shit, that is literally spot the fuck on, dude. Oh my god, yo. When, when casually explained that I spoke, it was back in 2017. 2017. Yeah, okay. I just, I just checked the, um, I just checked our, our conversation, uh, Cause like I've reached out to him on Facebook, I think. Did you drop the what up though? Were you streaming back then? No, no, no. It was just for TYT. He knows you well. No, no, he 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 does. He's like talking about how, you know, he says props to you and respect your commentary, or whatever. Like I I'm looking at it now. When I was on Facebook, I wanted to do a collab with him. Um because I thought it would be like really fun to do like a casually explained, but like politics. Eight months fog. And, um, he, uh, he, he just like, didn't want to do, um, he didn't want to do like a lot of, uh, political stuff. Little Krish. Little Krish, what's up, dude? Little Krish, you're eating good today. So much drama, dude. Live. We are going to look at fucking... We are going to look at LSF eventually, you know what I'm saying? Don't worry, Lil Krish, my only, my only LSF frog in the chat. Do you think a Twitch version of Drunk History would work? No shit he knows him well, will he fucking predict his actions perfectly? Yeah. I mean, I love, uh, I love his stuff. I've, I've been a huge fan of Casually Explained for many years. I think he's brilliant. I think he's very funny. Um, he's also two of my favorite countries. From two of my favorite countries, Australia and Canada. So, um, simp behavior. But anyway, let's uh, let's keep going. He, this is this is totally true though. Like anytime someone gets fucking blasted on LSF, it's like, it's like, like hater hater communities get together to be like, 
here are all the things that you have done wrong that actually you didn't really even do, but we're going to make stuff up about you. Ha ha. Wait, so he's known you for four years, but only a two months of? Yeah, so what, dude? Gold says, perhaps we should wait for more information before we jump to conclusions, which in a complete turn of events completely stunlocks the entire community who have been starved for such wisdom their entire lives. This effect lasts for a day or two until Destiny absolutely obliterates you for apologizing wrong. You announce you're taking a mental health break from streaming That's by streaming on your other account, and you begin planning your redemption arc with Dr. K. Now, one of the reasons why I'm a terrible streamer is because I'm never up to date with the latest meta, which is whatever the going trend on the website is that gets the most views. Like when Among Us became popular, yeah, I was like, one, yeah, probably just going to be a fad like Bean Race. Then a couple months later, I was like, well, I can't learn it now. It's just the end of the life cycle. And then a month after that, yeah. I was like, Okay, fine. I'll buy it. And then right when I buy it, everyone quits and starts playing Rust. And then when I spent three months going through the same process, right when I decide to buy it, everyone just quits to play GDA. And so I was like, okay, the next trend that comes around, I'm completely ignoring it. I'm not wasting any more money. So of course, what was the next okay. trend I missed out on? Fucking GameStop. Then right when I'm ordering my inflatables for the hot tub meta, guess what the new trend is now? Leaving Twitch to stream on YouTube. It was right in front of me the whole time. <laughs> But now the tables have turned. Months Once old. everyone's a YouTuber, guess who's going to have all the power to decide the meta then? That's right. ExpressVPN. The VPN that allows you to reroute your connection <laughs> to over many countries throughout the world in a single click. And if you're like me and don't want people hacking into or accessing your I Twitter respect DMs, that. I have to watch that ad now. Not because there's anything scandalous in there, but because you wish there were. We what. have to watch that ad, dude. Just kidding. At the top of the hour, there's an ad break, but you can avoid that ad break, actually. This is so good. This is so fucking good. Oh my god. 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 Yo, what the fuck, dude? It's like This is we've we've reached it. There is nothing better. I, I have to tweet this out. <laughs> 